Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is the Generation 2 conversion set for Studio Series 86 or Earthrise Starscream. I reached out to Toy Hacks oh, about a month or so ago and said, hey, people who are buying Studio Series 86 Starscream are now going to have an extra if they already have the Earthrise version. You guys ought to make a G2 conversion set. And lo and behold, the G2 set is now a reality. And as a thank you, Toy Hacks actually gave me a shout out decal. So I am officially a Toy Hacks decal. So how cool is that? Now this decal set includes four decal sheets on a combination of foil, vinyl and clear backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Starscream both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Starscream looks like Starscream with his standard red, white, and blue collar scheme. Now, as I said earlier, you can apply these decals to Studio Series 86 Starscream that I have right here or the Earthrise version. Now, of course, I'm using Studio Series 86 because I have already toy hacked my Earthrise version and he looks pretty sharp. So now let's take a closer look at Starscream. You guys pretty much know what the deal is with him. Great paint applications on the face. I love the painted eyes right there. He's got the red chest with the dark gray turbines right there. The translucent plastic there for the nose cone. Moving on down, red waist, blue hands and wrist. And about the only difference with uh, Studio Series and Earthrise is there is the um, fingers that can move. Here on the wings, we've got the red and white stripe, purple upside down Decepticon insignia. Moving on down the legs, we got the blue right there for the, you know what that's called, vent. Blue for the feet, some silver for the top of the foot, and really that's about it. So there is one final look at Starscream in G1 form before. And after, Starscream's robot mode gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his new G2 look. Taking a closer look at the figure, he gets new chrome decals here inside the pylons with some little yellow circles. New decals right there that indicate jet intakes for jet mode. Here on the chest, I love these. He gets new chrome decals right there and there that look so good. I love how the chrome catches the light. Here on the arms, he gets new decals for the wrist and inside the arm, decals here that cover up those pins. Moving on down to the legs, he gets new decals for the kneecaps, new yellow decals for the top of the foot. Inside the leg are more decals that cover up those pins. And of course you see the decals here on the wings that will go over more in jet mode. Now I want to talk about the Null Rays here. The G2 Toy Starscream didn't have the Null Rays that the G1 figure had. He had black launchers with purple missiles. And I love what Toy Hex did for the Null Rays. There's decals here for the top of the Null Ray to make it black and then some purple highlights on the bottom half to kind of give it that G2 look with the Null Ray. One issue though, and you guys really need to pay attention to this, is the decals right here on the main fin. You only get two of those. So make sure you create yourself a left and a right. I'm not sure if they meant to give us four of those decals and 
didn't or what, but don't get overzealous and put do two decals on the same null ray. I almost did when I realized I only had two. So you'll have top one top decal, two side decals, and the black decals here that go all the way around the null ray. It's just missing that one there on the back for some reason. But all in all, man, I love this. And there you go, Starscream in G2 robot mode after. In jet mode, straight out of the packaging, Starscream looks great. Of course, I am a big fan of the Earthrise Seeker Mold. I just think they did a really good job with these. Closer look at the jet. Love the translucent cockpit right there. You can look through, see the pilot seat. I like how the translucent cockpit works on the jets. Not a big fan of how they work on the vehicle modes, but the jets look awesome. Got some red there on the front. Here along the back, there is some dark gray, and I love the sculpted detail that's all over these jets. That just looks so good. The wings have the red and white stripe, purple Decepticon insignia, blue here for the tail fins, and blue back there with the folded up feet. So there you go, guys. There's one final look at Starscream in his Generation 1 jet mode before and after. And jet mode is where this decal set really shines. And the first decals you're probably noticing are the new camouflage wing decals that G2 Starscream was known for. Love the looks of these. They're so awesome. This one even has the TAC on the wing. And TAC, I'm assuming, stands for Tactical Air Command. So you've got a big camouflage decal right here on the end of the wing and then a smaller narrow one right there. He also gets these accent decals right there along the end of the wing and here on the tail fin. Also on the tail fin, he gets new red, silver, and black decals with TAC and N34221. Not sure what that means, hit me up in the comments. New Decepticon, G2 Decepticon insignias right there on the tail fins and the main wing. Now you do have the option of G2 or regular Decepticon insignias, but man, this is G2. Go with G2. There's also new highlight decals here on the feet. New decals right here. MTD engine decal here and decals right here on top on the red section. Warning on Toy Hacks's website these are shown upside down. So I was looking at them real close. I pulled up an image of G2 Starscream, and this is the way they're supposed to go with the little silver triangle looking section pointing up. So watch for that. Also, new bl black decal right there in front of the canopy, and a G2 Decepticon logo right there. Like I said, there are options. You can go G1 if you so choose. So all in all, I am really impressed with the jet mode. And oh yes, almost forgot. Right there, you have Patriot Prime. Of course, if you don't want to put my name on your Starscream, there are options. Sergeant Starscream. Of course, I think to fly a jet, you have to be a captain. Old Snake and Starscream. Which also reminds me, there's another decal right there with the G2 logo that says... Decepticon, a nice throwback to G2, because for some reason G2 always had the name of the figure on the toy itself. So there you go guys, G2 Starscream in jet mode after. Toy Hacks absolutely knocked it out of the park with their G2 conversion set for Earthrise or Studio Series 86 Starscream. I love what they did to this figure. It's so nice to see some G2 love coming back. So yeah, if you have two Starscreams now because of Earthrise and Studio Series, I highly recommend this set, especially if you're a G2 fan. Not to mention, this Starscream is going to look great if you happen to have Generation Select's G2 Ramjet and Generation Select's G2 Megatron. 
Also, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Toy Hacks for making a decal with my name on it. That was so cool. And when I first saw that, man, that made my day. And now I'm going to make some lucky subscribers day. I bought an extra set of the G2 conversion decals for Starscream here that I am going to give away to a lucky subscriber of this channel. And all you have to do to enter to win is comment below G2 rules. And then in about a week, I'll do a live show where I draw a winner from the comment section of this video and I will send this G2 decal set to you. So G2 rules, comment below on this video. You have to be a subscriber. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have this new super thanks button that YouTube just activated, and I also have channel memberships. And I want to give a huge shout out to my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!